Tanya, what's what's the story with the octopus? My brother-in-law thinks it's real. <laughs> so I named it Ant. Does he know they don't live in ponds? I obviously not. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Jack from Atlantis Water Gardens. I'm here with Tanya, who is a pond owner that we installed a pond for how long ago? Two years, this 2016. 2016, so about two years ago. And what are we doing today, Tanya? We're making my pond bigger. So we're ripping it out. We're ripping it out and putting in a new one. How many ponds have you had? Two. So two. So she had the first pond that she built, we built her a second pond, now we're building the dream pond, right? Yeah. Okay. From a studio apartment to a condo. So this will be the last one? Yep. For now? Yep. <laughs> so we're going to get started. Let me show you guys what we're working on. We've got an existing 8x10 pond that we built about two years ago. It's got a really nice waterfall on the side here. Actually, Tanya just pulled all the moss off. We're going to save that so we can use it in the new waterfall. What's cool about this spot is it's very shady. The moss does real well back here. So we're going to replicate that. We're going to build another waterfall. It'll be a little bit larger, but we're going to try and keep it in the same vein as what we got. Check out this cool tub with the floating plant that's just rotating around. That was your idea, right, Tanya? Homemade. It's a homemade deal. Love it. So the game plan now is we're gonna take this whole pond out. It's completely getting removed. We're gonna expand it out into this area. So you can see they've done some rerouting of electric lines. There was one running through here. They took it around the backside. There's a stump here that we've got to dig out and get rid of. We're gonna utilize this space around the maple over into here and back into that area there. It's gonna be something that's probably three to four times the size of what she's got now. Going to be really awesome. Okay, so staging, we've got the big guy here. We're gonna lay some plywood on the driveway so that we can lay our rocks out. And also for just traveling back and forth, offloading dirt and all that, we like to have plywood down. It's got a pretty new driveway in it. One of my challenges going forward right now is I wrecked my drone, my little guy, my Mavic Air, which I used for everything that I was shooting, all my slow-mo stuff that I had was all with my Mavic Air. Now I've got to take out the big one, which I haven't used in well over a year, I think. We'll see how that comes out. Look, now I got to lug this big thing around. Oh, got this big old suitcase. There's my Phantom 4. That's going to be taking place to the Mavic Air until I get that fixed or replaced or whatever. So I'm going to be doing things a little bit differently. It's not how I usually shoot, but we'll see how it turns out. I'm hoping for a good result on this one. We are going to get busy get started tearing out this pond, reshaping it, and building a new one. It is gonna be a hot one today. Our first order of business is we're gonna take out the stump that's behind me. It's pretty large. We're gonna dig it out, get it in the truck, and get it to the recycling center. Then we can start shaping this pond. Alright, most of our dig is done. We're gonna finish shaping it. Then we can get our fabric, our liner in, put it in our skimmer, and start rocking this thing. Okay, we're on day two. Sorry I didn't do the whole day two thing, but I forgot yesterday. It is disgusting out here. It's so humid, and that's the way it gets here in, in Jersey. 
probably close to 85 degrees right now with like a 98% humidity. It's you, your eyeballs are sweating. So let's take a look and see where we're at right now. Okay, the rocking has started in the pond. The lower level is mostly rocked in. Boulevard's working on installing a fish cave over here. And there's a second one that's right here. Next order of business is gonna be getting the top shelf done in rock work, creating planting areas, installing the lighting in the pond and then on to the waterfall. The skimmer, that's installed. Our biofalls, which is underneath this tree behind me, that's installed also. It just needs to be hooked up to the liner. We've probably got a day and a half left here, so it's time to get moving. Okay, day three, yes, I forgot the whole transition thing because I wasn't here at the end of the day yesterday. I've been running around like mad. We've been selling a lot of projects, so I do all the sales and set up and I wear all the hats. The pond is filling, it's looking fantastic. Boulevard is working on finishing up the waterfall. I'm gonna go over and do some straightening out with the machine, set a couple edge rocks, and then we're gonna plant our aquatic plants. We're waiting for this thing to fill. We're gonna clean up and we're gonna show you what it looks like. There we have it, the completed pond. It looks amazing. The lilies are growing in, the plants around it look spectacular. The waterfall's got some moss on it. I love the way this pond turned out. It's a testament to you really just never can go big enough. Tanya started with the small tub pond, graduated to the eight by 10. Now she's got herself a good sized pond in the yard. Thanks for checking us out. Hope you enjoyed this pond. We'll see you on the next one. Subscribe, like, comment. Appreciate everything you do for me. Peace.